Hi everyone, my name is Annelie and today I'm going to be showing you how I recreated my Nicki Minaj Queen doll. Um, I don't know if I should call this a tutorial or not because I think my footage is all over the place, but I'll try to explain you how I recreated this doll. Um, she's obviously inspired by Nicki Minaj's new upcoming album Queen and since it's about a month from its release, I just thought it was a good idea to kind of like recreate her in doll form and what a better thing that a Barbie doll for Nicki Minaj. Okay, so the first thing that I did was rerouting this doll's hair. Um, I basically used the same technique that I did in my last rerouting video and pretty much all you have to do is remove all of her hair including the glue from the inside and then you just start rerouting using the rerouting tool which is actually very simple, but it's very, very time consuming. I know I forgot to paint her scalp and I also know that the hair quality that I'm using, it's not the best, but at the end of the day, it turned out good, so yeah. And after we're rooting her whole head, I created the part line and added some gel to keep it in place. And while that was drying, I started making her outfit, which is not exactly an outfit, but she has like some garments on. So I started doing her headpiece, which, which with the help of this little head from a Mycene doll set that I had when I was little, I created the shape, you know, based on what she is wearing on the cover. And it's actually very, very simple. It's just kind of like an M shape. It has some ears and some lines going across her face. It looks a little bit of a superhero kind of thing, but at the end it will look nice, I promise. I also made two little circles to be the nipple covers. I also created the belt with a medallion at the center, which I grabbed the same necklace that I'm going to be using for the doll to give it some texture. And I also created this little kind of underwear thong kind of thing. I let that dry completely to then start Painting. To paint all of the accessories, I used this gold pigment, which is actually used for, for cake decoration. But when you mix it with glue, it turns out very, very nicely. So I painted all of the accessories. While everything was drying, I started creating the accessory for the headpiece. For this, I literally took some beads and started making them. I made long pieces that were going to be double. So that means that I created a design. And then when I reached the length that I wanted, I made a knot. And then I started beading again, but it was backwards. So the design was gonna be the same when you fold it in half. I don't know if I'm explaining myself correctly. And I created four of these long strips for each side. When everything was dry, I started decorating the rest of the garments that I previously did. So I took some of the same beads and started gluing them on the necklace. I also beaded the pasties and I also did for the kind of thong thing. I took a little bit of this jewelry wire and I created a U shape to, to go on the back of her head and I glued those pieces on each side so that way it would kind of connect with the headpiece and it would be securely on her head. With the same wire I created some gold strips and another and another one with some beads and I just glue them to the belt so that way it would have like this um, kind of chain effect but it's full of beads and after that she was basically done so I took my doll to where I had this kind of like tree trunk I took some pictures and then I was going to edit it to look like the album cover for this I went to Photoshop and the process is actually quite simple. I just kind of like deleted the background and created this gradient effect. I put on the logo and I tried to erase all of the joints to make it look a little bit more realistic. And after adding some filters it was basically done. Okay so I think that's basically it. Um, I already showed you the result at the beginning and it was not a difficult doll to recreate, it was only kind of like a lot of work. And I'm sorry if I didn't show like some details like this fabric and I don't think, I think I left aside some details that I didn't record, but they are quite obvious and not that difficult, so yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I also showed you how I recreated the album picture with Photoshop and that's gonna be on my Instagram and Twitter. So if you wanna check out, I'm gonna leave the link down below so you can like it and retweet it and tag Nicki Minaj so maybe she can see it. I don't know. I don't know. I just hope that you like this video and as always, thank you for watching. Bye!